hello everyone i am so glad to be back here um i just recorded a video i just re got finished recording hlm 20 um but anyways welcome back to part two of the okc thunder rebuild um i am mr stamp host your host and just taking a look at the starting lineup so you guys can refresh your memory it's been a couple of weeks because of some things that have happened but yeah um we're here and we're gonna get right into simulation honestly because i want to get through a couple months today um just to see where things sit and then kind of see where everyone sits how everyone's playing and see what kind of moves we can make honestly we're gonna do four times simulation too just because it's a bit quicker and you know what we played pretty decent against these guys i think not really at all actually oh my god anthony davis just dropped 50 on us um yeah so obviously it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle in year one i mean a team that sits at 78 offense and six, 76 defense is not gonna go well like we're just total bums basically oh excuse me not even gonna deny that but yeah so you know um, and I asked you guys yesterday um, whether you want you like this kind of um, what, what would you call it simulation for HLM series going forward um, I'm gonna do it for the BBLM 100% but if you want it to for HLM then be sure to leave a comment um, on that video or even a like will let me know but Shaggy will just Alexander just put up 30 and we still lost like ugh. This team's so bad. What's he rated to, Shay? He is an 82. Yeah, he's very good. Huge offensive game. No defense to be found, though. So he might not get much past 82. Like, he might cap out at, like, an 84 and 85 and be, like, a really good offensive tool for us, which I'm totally okay with. But if he can develop that defensive game a little bit, then whew, we got ourselves a pretty decent player. But expect us to win, like, three games this year. And I'm serious because I always have, like, a YouTube series and a normal series for myself um, going on in these games. We lost another one. Al Horford put up 21, but Shea was not far behind. 14 points. George Hill with 19. Mike Muscala with 18 we lost again but yeah as i was saying we, i always have a personal series as well and with my the new york knicks is my personal series the okc thunder i think won seven games in the first year seven games and i obviously adjusted the lineup where al horford's not playing as much um i got darius Baisley playing which i think i might end up changing because you know what i th i don't think it's i don't think it's gonna work out i think darius basely needs to be a backup because i don't want to overplay him either and al horford drops 19 yeah if horford's playing 17 minutes tonight and he's getting 19 points yeah he needs he needs to get more playing time so i'm gonna play al horford he's gonna be a leader on this team and this is why I like this personal simulation. You can really see how everyone's playing night to night and see who needs to be moved up, who needs to be moved down. I still want Darius Baisley playing like 20. But I'm going to have Al Horford play 28. Boom. Put him back in that starting lineup. Put Moan begin to walk. And yeah. So how have you guys been? I've been, you know, half and half. A lot of things happened these past two weeks, um, which I can't really tell you, but, you know, whatever. It's okay. I promise you everything is okay. But, yeah. We got a pretty decent... Ah, no, never mind. It was 115, and then they just kind of... Yeah, Shea with 28. Al Horford with a pretty disappointing game, his first game with... 28 minutes but you know what i'll still take it still a very good player still a very good player for us at least but i may honestly i mean i don't even know why oklahoma signed him and it's not like i'm gonna move him at the trade deadline because we literally just signed him and he's also 
He also has an awful contract, so it's not really going to work. We might have a chance here. No, never mind. It was very close there, but then we just totally blew it. Uh, Miller with a good game. Uh, Shea Gilgis or Her Horford really didn't show up too much. They were just combined 22 points, which is not great. Out of those two guys, you probably want to combine 35 night in, night out. I think that's pretty fair to ask for. But, you know, it's okay either way. We're a bad team. So I'm not expecting much. If we can get five wins on the year, that, that's a win, honestly. That's honestly a win. And we're going to get, like, pick seven or something, too. Knowing the stupid draft lottery. We put up 103 that game, which I think is good. George Hill with 19. And 27 combined from those two. So that's not what I want. That is not what I want. Oh, no. Who got injured? Oh, my God. Shea Gill, just Alexander, just got a 10-day arm injury. That's actually awful. And we need to play the Lou Dort. For literally 48 minutes a night. So I'm going to go really quickly and sign myself a shooting guard if I can. Um, a free agency, please. Okay. Uh, Kyle Korver? Kyle Kerber is in this. I'll bring him in one year. That was, it's still going to be a day, though. Until he gets back to us, which we have. We have a day. Yep, I know. And we got Kyle Korver. So go to the lineup. Yeah, Lou Dort. I think he's a little bit underrated, personally, but whatever. They can both play 24 a night. I'm okay with that. We'll see what Lou Dort can do. I'm actually going to keep track of him to see how he actually is. Okay. Let's see here. We actually have a pretty decent lead on the Warriors here. And, oh, no, never mind. We blew it. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, my God. They just got 58 in the third. Yeah, nothing's going to save us from that. Um, Lou Dort. 13 points. And Kyle Korver with six in his first appearance. But you know what? Lou Dort also had six assists. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yep, don't expect us to be any good for the first, like, five years. We're not going to be. This is going to be a very, very, very large uphill climb, and I'm going to try to make big impacts in free agency if I can, but honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Easy kill, saw the wheel rolling. Great big wheel turning over it. Okay. And not even a close one here against Miami. I mean, we kind of made it close there at the end, but not enough. We're letting in 120 points a game. And Lou Dort with 20 in that game. Look at that. Al Horford with 5 points. Jeez. What happened, Al? What happened? Okay. Okay. Off to a very good run against Sacramento, but we blow it. Oh, oh, we had an eight-point lead going into the second, and they kill us in the second. Now we got the lead back. Are we about to witness our first win of the year? No, we are not. We get outscored 46 to 16. That's unfortunate. Uh, Al Horford with seven points, Lou Dort with eight. That's not helping, guys. Come on. I mean, at least Shea comes back for the Houston game, which I'm super pumped about because, you know, we actually really need a scoring in the lineup. We're not going to be able to get wins without him. We won't. But I don't know. I kind of want to make trades for, like, some decent guys because I don't want to risk things on the draft. So I think we might actually end up shipping a couple of our first-round picks for the next few years out and try to get some good young talent. And we got 101 there. Al Horford, that's a big game. Horford, Horford and Dort combined for a decent amount. I don't know. Who's the other guy? George Hill, yeah. Like, just bad. 
We can, like, get three guys a night with ten plus points, and the rest are having, like, seven and eight. It's bad. It's really bad. One guy I really like, actually, is Devontae Graham. If we can get him, he's very good in my Knicks GM mode. And the reason why I really like to have a personal one is so I know how, like, you know, guys do. So I can use a little bit of knowledge while making trades and stuff. Because I'm really not a huge basketball guy. I don't know a lot about it, but I like it. And we got totally killed there. <sighs> George Hill, 20. Damien Lillard, 41. But you know what? Dort, Hill, and Horford there combined for a total of 48 points, which is about half of our points there, which is totally insane. And we finally got Shea Gilgis, who missed five games due to an arm injury. So that's pretty good. I'm going to take away his minutes. I do want to play Dort 20 a night. I do want to play him 20 a night. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah, no! Come here. There we go. Gil just back in the starting lineup. Playing 28. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, um, like, I think Graham's a shooting guard. Let me go take a look at Devontae Graham, actually. Let me go take a look. He plays for Charlotte, right? Devontae Graham's a point guard. Who's our current point guard? Oh. Oh, it's George Hill. It's George Hill. Wow. Whoa, okay. Okay, this could actually really work out for us. So, George Hill I definitely want to keep around is definitely like a good, you know, maybe sixth man on the team. But we could definitely give up Ty Jerome. Um, who's playing okay, I guess. Nothing special, though. We can give him up. And, like, a second, and we could get Devontae Graham if I really wanted. Um, you guys kind of tell me what you feel about that one. Getting Devontae Graham. I'm not going to do it this video. But that's definitely a move to look forward to for the future. Like, maybe next video we can make that move. I don't know. That could be a big, that could be a decent trade deadline splash for us. I'm just spitting chiclets here, but I don't even know if we're going to win a game this year, honestly. I might need a trade for Devontae Graham. We're just getting totally screwed by Houston. Like, Christian Woods killing us. And James Harden. But Al Horford puts up 26. Shea puts up 24. Fludor puts up one point. Are you kidding me? What? Like, we got guys getting zero points, which is just totally bizarre. I guess that makes sense if they're sitting, yeah. If they're sitting. But, like, Huska with three assists. Two. Kind of a three-man effort there. Literally. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Another blowout. This time to Indiana. Man. This is awful. Shea puts up 23. So Shea's having a very strong return, which I'm happy with. You know, he's, he's a big player for us. So if he plays well, then I'm happy at the end of the day. If he can average 17 this season, then that's awesome, honestly. Not gonna complain with anything less, with anything more than that. Uh, anything less, I might be a little bit upset, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter what I want, because I'm not gonna get it. I just want to win. 
Come on. Wow. Whoa. 96. We just get screwed by Donovan. Donovan Mitchell usually usually plays really well in this game, too. Like, he won an MVP in two different franchises. Because I started the Knicks, and then I bought the Pro version, and then I restarted Donovan Mitchell. is just always so good. He's always so good. But, yeah. Another blowout. There's really not much to talk about with these games because they're all huge blowout losses. So I don't really know what to what people expect. I kind of got stuck in a sh in a really bad position here in Oklahoma City. You know I can turn a team around in hockey. I mean I have yet to do it in HLM. Came close with the Red Wings, but you know didn't really make it because HLM twenty one came out. But I'm going to do it with Minnesota. I'm determined. I'm going to start pumping out those videos. Um, I hope I hope I stick to it. Al Horford with a strong game. Oh my god. We won. Holy moly. We won a game. Oh my god. Yes, Horford and Gil just combined for 52 points. That's the games we need. When we got our first one of the year, we are currently 1-16. and 16. Woo! Let's go, boys. That's a huge, huge one. I'm actually so excited for that. I'm so happy we got our first win. That's a big relief. We can lose every single game in the year now as long as we got that one win. That's all that matters. Shea looks like he might put up 25 tonight. Never mind. He's stuck at 15. Oh, there we go. Starting to move up. Boom. A couple more. Nice. 22 points for Shea. Honestly, I'm not even going to be, like, looking at these guys' stats much because it really doesn't matter. Shea Gilgis, George Hill, and Al Horford carry this team. Like, I'd really like it to be Shea and Horford 50 points a night, but that's just not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Oh, close one here against Dallas. We're going to blow it, but it just depends on when we're going to blow it. And it's right now. Okay. Well, we had a good first half to that game. But we blew it in the second, which is just normal, I guess. Shea Gill just puts up 22. Horford puts up 11. You know what? That's still 33, which, you know what? That's okay, I guess. I don't know what I expect out of... The guys here, they can't, three three guys can't win a championship for a team. You have to have decent depth as well. And you know what? If we're going to win a championship, it definitely ain't going to be with Shea Hill, just Alexander in year number two of his career, or year number three, and old-ass Al, Al Horford and 34-year-old George Hill, who's, you know, a good sixth man. It ain't going to happen with those guys. Shea puts up 32. That's all I care about. Keep it moving. Because, god damn, this is just sad. This is literally so sad. Okay, Al Horford off to a really good start. Really hot, but... Ooh, we keep the lead. Good... Oh, god, come on. Damn it. That sucks. Um, you know, 48 there out of Shea and Horford, and then another 14 out of Hill. That's awesome. And this is the last game of the month. This is the last game in, of this episode. Can we win against the Timberwolves? How's Anthony Edwards doing? Um, 81. Pretty decent, honestly, two points a game. Yeah, yeah. He's playing okay on a bad team. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's see how Anthony Edwards does this game, too. Whoa, he's actually going off. George Hill's going off. Shea Gill just with a bad game there. 14 points. Anthony Edwards had 31 in that game. Whoo! Yep, 10.9 after that. Jesus. 
If we would have won if Anthony Edwards didn't have 31. Oof, jeez. Okay. But you know what? Let's just see where we sit af after a couple months. I think we might be, you know, second or maybe third in the league. Um, anything lower than that, I'll be disappointed. Well, we're not third. Oh, we're dead last with one win. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Let's see our points for per game. It's honestly bad, 101. And our points against is easily the worst as well. The differential is horrible. Not even close. Last 10, we got a win. Hey, look at that. Um, player stats, though, shake. It'll just Alexander. What? He's not even killing it. Holy moly, he's, yeah, not even killing it. Where, where is he? Yeah, he's 67th. I think he's 67th ranked player right now probably because of that awful plus minus but you know what's funny Steph Curry actually wins defensive player of the year a lot because of his plus minus which is how they do it in this game but whatever that's going to be it for this episode boys and girls if you enjoyed please consider um, hitting that subscribe button where we're, we're five away from 100 and that would be a awesome milestone for me to hit also leave a like if you enjoy this content it really shows that you're enjoying and it encourages me to make more of these videos. But anyways, this is Mr. Stamkos. I'll see you in part three. Bye.